We're with Coach Jay Thomas, whose demons open up Southland Conference play Saturday afternoon at the reigning Southland Conference champion, Southeastern Lions. Coach Thomas, your team's coming off an open date week. How was that for the team? Well, really good. Um, you guys did a great job last week. Uh, you know, we uh, shortened the practices up a little bit. It's very crisp, uh, high spirited. It was great. Uh, guys, you know, got uh, Friday and Saturday off. Came back last night. We had a short workout and uh, came back in good shape, man. It was uh, it was a really good practice last night. Your team's two and two coming in off of two straight momentum building wins. The old question: Are you where you want to be? at this point of the season? Absolutely. Um, obviously, you know, if you go back through it, uh, we let that first one slip away from us. Um, you know, it, we knew that, you know, it was a four game stretch that was going to be really tough, but it also would benefit our team, you know, and, and our team would get better by playing those games and get us prepared for conference play. So, uh, feel good about that. Uh, did get banged up a little bit along the way, you know, but we've had a lot of guys step up, fill in, and. That's always exciting to see, you know, a lot of young guys getting their opportunity to, to play. And then, of course, uh, you know, at that point in time, you, you need your older guys and your experienced guys to, uh, you know, come through and make the plays for you. So it's, it's exciting to get conference play started this week. Looking forward to it, uh, you know, going down to Hammond and facing a really good Southeastern football team. What are the things the Demons are doing the best right now? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, across the board, you know, our effort's been really great. Uh, you see our defense improving, uh, you know, in the takeaway margin. We've done a really good job there. Uh, we need to continue to work on defending the run. Uh, you know, uh, uh, the missed tackles uh, early in the game. You know, make sure we got the speed of the game down before we get going. Uh, but you see, you see the effort, you know, across the board. Uh, offensively, uh, getting the running game going. Uh, you know, we got multiple weapons there as far as uh, running backs go. So. Um, then you see our offensive line uh, really begin to improve, you know, starting to gel together as we went through the first four ball games. You know, and I can't say enough about our receiving group, man. Our guys have done a tremendous job this year so far, you know, blocking, catching the ball, making big plays for us. Then it all goes back to the lead guy, you know. Zach's playing uh, really well. Uh, he's got his game at a high level. Uh, you know, it's really uh, the proof in that it's been the last two ball games, you know, 30 for 35. and you know, 20 for 25. But, uh, you know, it starts with his play, and then, of course, our offensive line has, has done a tremendous job giving him time to throw the football. Now you play a Southeastern team that since the schedule came out, you said, why not start with the best? Mm -hmm. Well, here you go with the reigning champions. Talk about the challenge. Well, it is. Uh, you know, if you look at Southeastern, you know, across the board, they're really talented, uh, very well coached. You know, um, we're plowing through the film, you know, as we did last week, going through it again, making sure we don't leave a, a rock unturned, you know. Um, but here's the thing, you know, special teams, they play very well. Uh, you know, we thought that Tech was probably the best we'd face, and that's including Baylor, you know, Missouri State, those guys, all those guys are really good at it. Uh, these guys are better than those guys. So it's going to be a big challenge for our special teams to come up and play huge for us in this game. Um, you know, Bennett, Bennett is, he's playing at a high level too as well. Um, had an opportunity down the stretch to beat Tulane. You know, uh, scored a touchdown, had it called back, and then had the ball down inside the five late in the game. So uh, really, really playing really well. I know they had a tough one up at, uh, you know, in Missouri. Cape Girardeau playing Southeast Missouri, lost that by one point. Uh, but really talented offensively, receivers, uh, running backs, big offensive line, they do a good job up front, very well coached. A uh, lot of different schemes. They can run the power game, they can get spread, they run the options, so you got about four offenses that you, uh, you got to defend. And then uh, defensively, very multiple, uh, very multiple in, in regards to the way we are. You know, give you four down, give you three down, give you multiple looks, different blitzes, zone blitz, man blitz. So uh, very talented there as well. So, yeah, I mean, it's just going to be, you know, Southland Conference great, man, it's from top to bottom. It's Southland strong, and, we, you know, we got the correct name for it. And, uh, you know, it's, and you want to be, you want to be the best, you get, you got to go and you got to line up. And like the old saying is, you, you want to beat the man, you got, you got to go and play, play the best you can play. So, uh, you know, our guys got to be ready to go. And I'm, nah, I have no doubt that we will be. All right, in addition to the obvious incentive, opening up conference with a win, beating uh, the defending champion, 
there's the issue of Coach Mike Lucas, former head coach at Southeastern, yeah. going back to Hammond for the first time as a football coach since uh, he left there. Certainly that'll be a, a little added fuel to the fire of the Demons, I would think, this week. Well, I think so. You know, Coach, coach is uh, obviously, he's, he's excited about it, getting an opportunity to go back. And, you know, we just, and I know the defense and the guys are want to play well for him. Uh, he's done a tremendous job here, short period of time that we've had him here. So you, you see our defense beginning to evolve. Uh, he's starting to get his stamp on it now. You know, um, you know the guys believe in what we're doing. And, uh, you know, I know, I know it's going to be a big week for him. And, you know, we're going we're gonna to allow him to, uh, you know, share his feelings along the way as we approach the game. Now, your team, uh, this is one that you guys have also circled from uh, last year's frustrating loss to the Lions in which your team uh, had the upper hand in the third quarter until uh, a pretty disastrous stretch toward the end of the third quarter, one that I know you used as motivation during the offseason. Well, yeah, it's, uh, you know, played such a really good game. And then, you know, in a short span of time, you know, uh, we lost the game. We had a 16-point lead. Uh, we had a touchdown that was called back in that game. Uh, I think we had two touchdowns possibly called back. We had an opportunity right before half to really uh, – you know, extend the lead, we, and we only got three points out of it. Could have gotten a touchdown, from what I recall. And, uh, you know, I'm getting old, Doug. My memory is not quite what it was. But I remember that, and then it was a short period of time that uh, the ball flipped around, and we allowed them to make some big plays, let them get back in the game, then eventually beat us down the stretch, you know, in the fourth quarter. But, um, yeah, and, you know, and then they went on to run the table from that point. And, you know, uh, if we, you know, do the things we needed to do in that game, who knows? You know, we, we'd have been the one in the driver's seat, you know. So, you know, it's really important that you get off to the fast start. And, uh, you know, this is the first one. Of course, Southeastern's got a leg up on us. They had a conference game last weekend. So uh, they're 1-0 and in the conference, and we're 0-0 coming in. So, uh, you know, we've got to go to their place. That's, that's always a tough place to play, Strawberry Stadium is. I'm sure it'll be packed. It'll be exciting, um, you know, and I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. All right, we are too. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you. We're with sophomore safety Adam Jones coming off an open date week. The Demons are playing at Southeastern, the defending conference champions on Saturday. Adam, are you guys happy to get back to game week preparation? For sure. Uh, um, always happy to get back to game week preparation and get back to the grind and hopefully can come out and have a good week of practice. These are the games that you guys spent all of off season preparing for. Not that the non-conference games don't matter, but these are the ones that bring you a ring. So these are the ones I know that you guys really are looking forward to. Talk about the conference season and what it means. Right. Well, like you said, we don't get a ring for those non-conference games. so. We did work all off season for these games, and we we worked hard for it. And hopefully, uh, we can play well throughout these eight games and see if we can get a ring out of it. What have you learned about this team during the non-conference season? That we we can fight. We fight every game we play. Uh, we don't give up, and we're gonna um, fight to the final whistle, and we're gonna keep going. And the final whistle worked out for you pretty well last week. Yes, sir, it did. So you've had some. Um, reassurance and, and affirmation that, that that attitude can pay dividends and certainly you would expect that this Saturday's game is going to be one of those 60 minute battles and perhaps beyond. Talk about last year's game against Southeastern and how that helps you prepare for this year's game. Well last year as y'all know we didn't finish real well and that's what we learned to do over these past few games and it's a lot of momentum carrying in the conference right now and hopefully we can just bring that momentum into energy and play with the same effort we've been playing with all year. You as a defense, the Purple Swarm, uh, held down a Louisiana Tech def offense in the last game. Now you're playing one of the most explosive offenses in FCS football. They put 62 on the board last week. They've got a returning All-America quarterback who was a conference player of the year last year. A pretty big challenge for the Purple Swarm. Right. They, they have a really explosive offense, but um, we're accepting the challenge. We never back down from that challenge. And uh, like you said, we played a great LaTeX offense last, last week, and we're expecting to play a good um, Southeastern offense, and we're accepting the challenge. 
What about going on the road to play them in the conference opener on Savile and TV? Uh, what does that mean for this football team? Well, road wins are always tough to come by, but these past few weeks we've learned how to win on the road and we've learned how to overcome adversity and that's what we plan to do if it ever strikes during this game. And I know it's going to be a packed atmosphere and we're excited to play. All right. Thank you, Adam. Thank you. Well, senior receiver Bryant Mitchell, the Demons are coming off an open date week, getting ready to play Southland Conference football the rest of the year, starting with the best team in the conference last year, the Southeastern Lions in Hammond Saturday afternoon. Bryant, is this a game that you guys have looked forward to since the end of last season? Uh, yes. Uh, we, um, it was one of those games that, you know, we felt like they got away with. You know, we, we had a model last year, you know, close the gates and don't let them out. You know, we let them out. So this year we're really trying to capitalize and we're not letting them out of their own gates. Okay, and your team comes in with some momentum after having won two straight, two straight road games. What does that experience mean to you guys going into this big challenge? Uh, it means something, you know, it's not everything. You know, for us, it's conference, it's a whole new season. You know, that season is over and we're in conference play. We're trying to go eight and zero, and we're trying to get a ring. Okay, Southeastern, uh, has been very good since the start of last season. Defensively, they're a ball hawking defense as a receiver. The Demon passing game, the Demon offense has really been uh, working well here in the last several weeks, in fact, all season long. Talk about the challenges that offensively we face against the Lions. I know you haven't looked at a lot of specifics, but you do know a little bit about them from last year and being aware of what they've been doing this year. Uh, they're a man playing team. You know, they want to play man across the board and we have to win those matchups, you know, one-on-ones, you know, any matchup that we get that's singled out, we have to win. You know, we have to win every play, every down, and we got to fight for it. And when we fight for it, I believe we'll come out victorious. What have you learned about this team during the first uh, four games of the season, the non-conference season? So much, you know, we're strong. We're a strong, strong team. You know, we, uh, we have to fight. And fighting, you'll learn how to fight when you continue to fight. And that's what we did, you know, from the Missouri State loss. You know, we really had to recognize that, you know, it wasn't just going to be handed to us. And we got out here, we got after it. The next three and a half weeks, we got after and we worked and we're going to keep working. A lot of people called the Louisiana Tech win a cornerstone game because you can really jump out of that. But isn't this also a cornerstone game, a statement game, if you will, that the Demons if they can get this one, then all of a sudden the whole paradigm of the season changes and going from the underdog to the favorite. Every game is, you got to take it one at a time. You know, it, it doesn't matter whether it's La Tech, Baylor, Southeastern. You know, you, you got to come out and you got to play the game. You know, we won a good game last week. That's over with. We're not thinking about that anymore. We're, we're on to the next one. All right. And Bryant Mitchell, your senior season, um, how do you feel you're playing? What do you want to do better going forward? I feel like I'm playing decent. You know, I can always improve. We can always improve as a team, you know. And I, I feel like as a senior, you know, I just want to continue to be a leader on the field, no matter what role it is. Just continue to be a leader, give 150% effort every play. We've seen that all year. Thanks, Brian. Thank you.